All right, so now that I'm 18, I feel like I can tell you all some more juicy stories, if you know what I'm saying. We're moving up to the big boy stories with the big boy subjects, like said. I'm not used to saying promiscuous words like that on this channel, so I just need some time to adjust. But basically, we're moving up from PG to PG-10. Not quite ready for PG-13 yet. This is a family-friendly Christian channel, all right? This is a Mormon household. So anyway, let's get on to the story. And get your kiss on. All right, so about a year ago when I was a junior, I took a sign language class and there was a boy that sat next to me. His name is Sam. That's what we'll call him. Me and Sam would talk a lot. He was a weird boy though, cause he was low key pretty. He had plump lips, a nice cute nose, some beautiful green eyes with like nice eyelashes and some short hair that kind of looked like a girl a little bit. So it was kind of cute. He had a girly voice too. So it was like really throwing me off. I started thinking, am I low key gay? Cause this dude's making me high key homosexual. I'm hundred percent not gay though. Cause even if I liked his face, I couldn't get into like a guy's body. I like melons and peaches personally, but then something crazy happened. My wish was granted. Sam was always covered in clothes. So when he came into class the next day with a tank top and tight pants, I was like, Nani? Sam had some juicy, ripe cantaloupes. He had some fat milk jugs. He had some big old opai straight up. So basically, Sam is a girl that cut her hair short and then called herself a boy. I asked him, so you don't have an eggplant? No. We have a case of Seishiro Tsugumi on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I knew I wasn't gay because the way he was being pretty was as if he just looked like a pretty girl. I was confused though because he still called himself a boy, but he had nice plump lips, Beautiful green eyes, some tiggle bitties, slim thick with a fat booty. Oh my god. Okay, chill. She's still a boy. He's still a boy. Not to me with that hourglass figure, Kim K. Tsunade looking hottie with the body. That's an iron male to me. So I start flirting with him. More like keep flirting with him because I was kind of doing that before already, except not going anywhere with it because I knew he was a boy, but not anymore. Screw the game plan. We're moving on to plan double D. So I found out Sam has only been with women, which makes him lesbian, but he calls himself a boy, so that makes it gay but he likes women, so it's straight. What the frick, this is confusing. We stopped talking though, cause I switched schools. I went back to the school you guys all see me in in my vlogs, but a couple months later, Sam hit me up saying he's never been with a guy before and I should spend the night. Wink, wink. It was gonna go down. I had to sit down and reevaluate myself. Is this gay? Possibly. Do I care though? Not really. All right, I'm coming over. So it was chill, the night was going really well. I was just throwing out them suave words that got him all riled up. Your boy K can spit game, all right? He may have called himself a boy, but I made her a girl that night. He was getting all flirty like, aw, no, no. Stop it. Next thing I know, we're getting all hot and sweaty, doing a little smooching and cooching and pooching. She was sucking on my neck when she told me, I have a biting kink and I have a big booty kink. What's up? At first, it was like Rosario Vampire up in this, ah! just like firm biting here and there. But five minutes later, I felt like I was being attacked by a pack of hyenas. I told her to chill, but she wouldn't. Like she'd chill for five seconds, but then she'd go back to hyena mode. So to get her to stop biting me, I started biting her. It worked, but she starts saying, go harder and harder until I'm biting as hard as I can. She legit has some rhinoceros skin. I don't know how I didn't just bite a chunk of her flesh off. But one thing leads to another and she's sucking on the eggplant. Let's just say the biting didn't stop. I dipped real quick. Yeah, so moral of the story, it's not a gay thing. It's a K thing. Thank you for watching the video, my quesadillas. I used to pretty much only do these types of videos on my channel, so it's nice to do it again. Let me know if you like my stories or just my sit down and talk type videos in general. But make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. Make sure to like things. It's always good to like things. I like cantaloupes. I think I said that in a video before. I like melons, actually.